What's up everybody? Welcome back to another comic video. Today we're going to go over the Hawkeye specs and keys from the Disney Plus show that's coming out in just about a month. Uh, November 24th, I believe. And it's a six episode series. Should be done basically by the end of the year. Uh, I'm not going to go over the two big ones. Um, the first appearance of Hawkeye in Tales of Suspense number 57, I believe. And then uh, Young Avengers number one, because everybody knows about those. Uh, that's Kate Bishop. So we're going to go over some other keys and specs from the show. Uh, I also did not include the Kingpin first appearance because that's still just a rumor as opposed to confirmed. And, uh, you know, that's all just chatter right now, even though it's probably a good sign that uh, the sign is good that he'll be, you know, coming back. Anyway, uh, let's get started with the first one. And, you know, like I always say, we do the entry level first. And this is Hawkeye number one, the 2017 uh, ongoing series with, you can see Kate Bishop's on the cover. The raw FMV on this is $30. Uh, the last CGC 9.8 sale was October 31st for $195. Uh, this is, you know, roughly around a $200 book, maybe a little bit less. Uh, there are 427 blue label which is 70.5% of all graded books are uh, CGC 9.8, and which should be expected because this is a 2017 book, so most people are going to be taking care of their books and probably only submitting 9.8s if you know possible. And as you can see here, many more will be graded because a lot of these are easy to acquire, they're relatively cheap, and we will see, I guess, a flood of it coming back. Um, this should be a pretty good hold though, just because Kate Bishop will be persisting, she'll be around, you know, long term. And this book at $200, I think, or $195, I, I think that's probably the ceiling for right now, because there's going to be, there is going to be a lot of this. And there are going to be other keys to look out for, uh, such as Young Avengers number one, first appearance. Now when that gets too high, I'll probably look into... Young Avengers number 10, where she turns into Hawkeye, and then number 12, I think, is when she actually has the Hawkeye costume, or the, you know, she takes over the mantle of the Hawkeye. Uh, but this should be fairly easy right now, and this should be pretty good in the short term, I think, until all the all of the uh, graded books come back, or all of the books come back graded. Okay, now moving on to second one. Now this is kind of a lesser spec here, a uh, lesser key, lesser spec, because uh, this is a first appearance of, of a speculated villain or main character on the, on the show. It's similar to like a Contessa Valentina, Allegra de Fontaine, because we don't really know if this is going to be a villain or not. But it's the first appearance of Madame Mask, Iron Man number 17 from 1969. And uh, Vera Farmiga is the character that's been cast as a Madame Mask character. She could be Whitney Frost, but she is the mother of uh, Kate Bishop on the show. And, you know, perhaps it's a long-term implications if she persists and if she's around. That could be good, right? And right now, this is pretty affordable. Uh, I mean, as you can see, I do have one right here. Uh, the raw FMB is about $35. On October 12th, there was a CGC 9.0 that sold for $354, and October 26th, there was a 5.5 for $144. Uh, you're probably mostly going to find mid-grades, and as uh, when I was looking it up, looking up on the census, most of the grades are mid-grade, so I would suspect, I would expect to see a lot of mid-grade copies being uh, sold, and uh, you know, on the market, just because. You know, it is it is still a Silver Age book. It's hard to get high grades. So as you can see here, a 9.0 was like the most recent sale. Uh, so we don't see any 9.2s, 9.4s, 9.6s. But this is an interesting one because if she does persist, let's say, in the Echo show, or maybe she appears in uh, another uh, uh, Kate Bishop ep uh, show or, or another related episode or show or movie then this could spike a little bit more kind of like ha what happened when um contessa showed up on falcon winter soldier it spiked overnight 
So this could be if it is revealed that she's Whitney Frost and she turns into Madame Mask later on, then this could be a key. But uh, right now, this is kind of a sleeper pick uh, in my eyes. This could be something later on that could turn into something, maybe not. And you know, I'd, and I saw someone was mentioning on a, on another channel that you know Vera Farmiga is a pretty big name, so it's kind of hard to to use her just one and done. I feel like she'll be wanting to play more, uh, especially on a on a series where she's going to appear in a bunch of uh, episodes. So, all right. On to the third one, and this is this one has been picking up steam recently as the show has gotten closer. But it's Avengers number 19, the first appearance of Swordsman from 1965, the Silver Age book. Uh, the we already know that the Swordsman is cast, will be on the show, but we haven't seen anything from this person. We for all we know, he could just be there in name and might not actually be in whatever this costume or even showcase any of his skills but i i doubt that i think if they're gonna cast a swordsman he's gotta show some some sort of skills right but uh you can see here the raw fmb fmv is a 58 dollars still pretty low um keep in mind that a lot of this stuff is going to be low to mid grade just because this is a silver age book and it, you know it is early avengers number 19 so it's within the first two years of publication uh but you can see october 15th a cgc 9.0 sold for 554 dollars and then there was a CG, CGC 7.0, which is very recently, October 31st, selling for $387. Uh, this has been steadily climbing. And, you know, once we see him, maybe in action or whatever, this could spike. Because uh, hopefully he isn't a one and done person. We don't know his uh, relationship to the show. But, you know, if, if I remember correctly, I think Swordsman is like Hawkeye's mentor or trainer or something like that there there's some connection there so uh, maybe that's where hawkeye got the idea to be ronin because he was training under swordsman a long time ago i don't know that's just i, I think that's either comic books or just me just going going off in a tangent but anyway uh this could be a big book once the show comes out uh if swordsman is a uh, significant character not just like a background character so be on the lookout for this uh, and you know as you can see I have one right here ready to go it's a, this is a low grade I do have a mid grade maybe a 6.5 7.0 that's being graded right now hopefully it's back before the show comes out because uh, if he has a one and done I think you, you got to get rid of this right away but uh, if not it might be a long term hold because he could persist in other shows all right so the fourth one and you know, most people know this by now. Uh, Inhumans number five from 1999, the first appearance of Yelena Belova. Um, this has been a key for a long time now, since over a year, two years, because we knew that she was cast in the Black Widow movie, and it's just been a long time, right? And this has been, it has been climbing, but it also kind of slower, just because the the movie kind of flopped and it just those are delays. But now that we know that Yelena will be in the Hawkeye show, uh, this has been going up. And uh, as you can see, the raw FMV on this is about $152. And from what I've seen, anything that's high grade, near mint or more, it's going to be over $200 or very close to it. Um, because she's primed to be a main character in the MCU for a long time. But uh, on October 16th, there was a 9.8 sold for $550. And on October 13th, a 9.6 for $300. So these are the two grades that I think you should only look at. Obviously, a 9.8 is what you always want. But this is a 90, late 90s book. But it is harder to, to find it in a 9.8 raw. or you know, So you'd have to get it already graded. Because you know the, the bindery tears from the books from this era it's it's really really bad um so it, it that's really gonna affect how bad uh, or how much or how they're going to grade it if it's gonna be bad enough to be a 9.6 or just just fine enough to be a 9.8 because i've seen a lot of books from this era this it's just you know it's, it's pretty it's pretty poor quality but uh they're 249 on the blue label and a 9.8 that's which is 42.4 percent you know they're only 249 but 42% uh, is pretty high, and a 9.6 or higher is 75.6%. Uh, 
Uh, and you can see, it's, like I mentioned, it's a long-term hold as Yelena Belova will persist. She'll be uh, appearing in future projects. But finding this right now online, is it's, it's not as much as, or it's not as common, prevalent as a lot of other books that are higher specs from this era. Um, so I think that's going to push the price a little bit more, especially if she does something in this show and not just like a one episode cameo appearance, but she's actually part of it. Uh, but, you know, I don't know how they're going to fit all that because she wasn't in any of the trailers and there's only six episodes. So we'll see how they're going to weave that in. But uh, I think this is obviously going to be long, long term. So, all right. And on to the last one is Daredevil number nine. Uh, you can see it right here. I have it. It's the first appearance of Maya Lopez Echo from 1999. You know, same same era. Uh, the raw FMV on this is $183, but I haven't found anything that's near mint or higher raw for under $200. Um, and if, if it's anywhere near a 9.8 or a possibility, it's going to go way more, like 220 230 240 maybe more. But uh, this is a long-term hold, obviously, because... Uh, she is going to have her own show within, you know, I guess within a year or a year and a half. I'm not sure when, but, uh, you know, there are implications of with Kingpin, seeing as she's like his assassin, Daredevil, because they're lovers. You know, there's a lot of things going on uh, in that in that uh, space of the MCU because uh, Kevin Feige has said that they want to reintroduce a lot of Netflix characters back into the MCU and this echo could be that bridge because if she has a show they could slowly bring them all back in and they can have the shows after that but uh, you could see here uh, 9.8s go for you know the last one sold for $709 on October 26th and on October 30th a 9.6 sold for 310 uh, there are 459 in the blue label as you can see it's you know almost double the amount that the Inhumans has so they're just either there was just more of this or more people are specking on this than the Inhumans. But it's 61% of the census is a 9.8 and 83.5% is a 9.6 or higher. So you probably want to only get a 9.6 or 9.8 because the percentage is really high. 83% or more, it's really not worth getting it below. And there are a lot of it and there are going to be more uh, coming back. Um, this is basically another one of mine on the way out to get graded uh, i i have five of these that are uh, a 9.8 they're gonna they're all part of the pre-screen 9.8 so we'll see you know i'll do a video when that comes back but this this has a long-term hold uh for sure because if she if her show does well and they connect all the netflix characters back in this this book could explode to over a thousand dollars but i think with a lot of books coming back graded uh, this should level off for a little bit until her show comes out, but either way, it's still a good good keep for a book from the you know 1999. So, all right, uh, that's it. That's what I have for you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, I didn't include the big ones like Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, Kingpin, Spec, but uh, some of these could hit even bigger, like uh, you know Madam Mask. Uh, some could peter out <laughs> like uh, Swordsman because. You could be one and done. Who knows? But all right, guys. That's what I got. Until next time. See ya.